<laughs> can you fix it so you can see me lying down? <laughs> no! Like that? Yeah. Ah! That was not how I envisioned that going. Hey everyone, welcome back to Make My Space Work, the series where we gift hardworking entrepreneurs with a complete office transformation. I'm Alexandra Gator, your host and decor expert, and this series is brought to you by Shopify, a commerce platform that lets you build, manage, and grow a business. Since so many of us are working from home, we thought it'd be really fun to do a virtual makeover two ways. They pick which one they like best. There's even a special surprise coming at the end of this episode that you don't want to miss. Today I'm helping Farah, the owner of Love Square Kids. She sells really cute headwear for the whole family. So scrunchies, little kids hats. She is right now working in her dining room. She's kind of just like moved everything into this open dining room because she's trying to adapt to work from home with two young children. I don't know how she does it. I'm gonna come up with two different design plans, present them to Farah, double the inspiration for you guys, double the inspiration for her. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed. So many fun office transformations from big to really teeny tiny. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I'm really excited about our little project. Me too. I am excited to get a little bit more organized. I can't even imagine running like a business with two children right now. How has it been for you? I'm uh, not going to lie. It's been hard. My kids are not the type to sit in front of a TV for very long. Um, I literally had to bribe them with snacks right now. So it's been challenging, but at the same time, it's pushed me to think outside the box. What can you do? You kind of have to adapt. I'd also love to know about the scrunchies you donated to hospitals. You donated like 200 scrunchies, that's amazing. One of my customers is a nurse and she messaged me and she was like, I just want to say thank you. You know, I picked up my new scrunchie and I, and I it saves my day and whatever. And I didn't know what other way to give back in a time like this. I put up a question box on my Instagram. I was not expecting the 300 plus replies that I got. Wow. Since then I've gotten a lot of lovely messages from people who have received them and how much you know just something like that just brighten their day and touch them that's incredible i would love to know what isn't working for your space and what your kind of like ideal um new setup would be in this chaotic time i need a place where i can feel calm you know i'm a capricorn it's kind of like my heart is like i need to be organized i don't know if you can see the plastic shelves behind me I still have stuff on the floor. They don't hold everything. So that's been a challenge. It's my dining room. So it's open to the house. I need to close off and get a little bit of privacy. Right now I have no room for my headbands, which I just launched. And so they're on the floor. We were gonna renovate our, our main floor right before this happened. And we were going to put barn doors. Can we talk about your um, your design, like the, the uh, styles you love? I love modern. I like natural woods. I like plants. I like the idea of having some sort of bold feature in here, whether that be the wallpaper or a rug. Okay, awesome. I feel like I have so many ideas. I'm so excited. Okay, so I will see you next week. And awesome. thanks so much for the call. Thank you. I'm excited to see the design. Bye. 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 That was such an awesome call with Farah. I'm really inspired by this space. I think it has so much potential. Even though it might seem daunting to her, simple changes are gonna make this space feel designed, styled, and inspiring for her to work at every day. So it's day one, I'm hanging out on my couch, I'm planning option A, and here's what I'm thinking for the space. So I thought long and hard about finding an organization solution for Farah. This is probably the most important part of this makeover. Right now, she has everything on open shelves. They're plastic. They only go halfway up the wall, which is a problem. She's not making use of all of that vertical space. Here's what I'm thinking for option A's organization solution. I found this PAX wardrobe system. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this system before. It is completely customizable. So 
So I added in drawers, added a couple shelves, but I mostly just filled this wardrobe with pull-out baskets and drawers. I even thought she could label the drawers so she knows exactly what's inside of them. I thought it'd be fun if Farah painted the outside of it navy blue to kind of go with that more like rustic feel that she likes. And then of course adding these sleek farmhouse style knobs to the front just gives it like a bit of a luxe. Then on the back wall, I thought, you know, this is the wall that Farrah is going to see right when she opens the door. So I thought a really fun dotted wallpaper would look so good along this back wall. This is peel and stick wallpaper, so if she gets tired of the pattern, she can just take it down whenever she wants. Then in the corner, I found this awesome artificial olive tree. I am not usually one that goes for artificial plants, but I found this company that makes these insanely realistic faux plants. That means Farrah doesn't have to worry about watering this plant, keeping it alive. I mean, it is by a window, but I just was like, you know what, let's make this easy on you. So now she gets this tree that's gonna add height to that corner, fill the space and bring her a pop of greenery. Tip for you guys, if you are like, what do I fill my office with? It's feeling kind of empty. Plants, they make everyone happy. They're like a breath of fresh air, literally. <laughs> On the opposite side of the wall, I added her desk. I was really kind of going back and forth with the desk placement. I wanted the desk to either be looking out the window or out of the dining room into the rest of her house. After looking at the measurements, I just didn't think that was gonna work. When she's packaging things, she goes like, down on an assembly line. Middle of the room needs to be open space. Let's put the desk up against this side of the wall where she has it now. Let's center it a little bit. Above it, I found this really awesome paper roll. And I just thought this was a great farmhouse style touch for her to add memos, to-do lists, maybe like inspiration, whatever she wants. It doubles as a piece of art and it's useful. Beside Farrah's desk, I'm thinking of putting a leaning shelf for her printer and her label maker, because right now the label maker is on top of the printer. There's lots of clutter everywhere. And then of course it's time for those finishing touches. I'm going with a beautiful round jute rug. I wanted to keep it feeling light and fresh. And can we talk about this gorgeous farmhouse style light? Farrah pinned this exact light, and I feel like this light paired with the rug makes this room feel like part of the home. You guys, I wanna work in this room. Let's head into day two and start planning option B. Okay, so storage for option B was a struggle because I really feel that the PAX wardrobes that I included in the first option are Farrah's best bet. I feel like they really maximize the vertical storage in her space and she can customize them, which is also awesome. But I did find some alternative cabinets from Ikea. They have lots of space inside each little cubby. There's a company called Semi Handmade that makes custom fronts for Ikea cabinets just like this one. I found this navy blue beadboard that Farah could place on the front of these Ikea cabinets. I feel like this really brings in a ton of style into her space, that pop of color that I think this space really needs. This company also sells these gorgeous knobs, so I thought that Farah could cover the front of this cabinet with these gold knobs. Now, the great thing about option B is that these cabinets are a little bit smaller than the PAX unit. They allow for even more storage underneath the window. This is the same unit. I thought she could customize the front of these doors as well and then add legs. These legs are from Pretty Pegs, a company that actually sells custom legs for IKEA furniture. So she gets a little more, you know, storage underneath that window. It fills the space and I am in love with the blue beadboard. In that corner, I thought a fiddly fig would work really well. I also found this really fun print. It's this line drawing of this girl wearing a scrunchie, which is very on brand for Farah. So I thought that a really big print could just add some extra decor. The desk for Farah's space is a bit bigger than an option A. There's also storage underneath on the legs too, which is great. Instead of a shelf beside the desk, I thought Farah could have two barnwood floating shelves above the desk. You can buy faux barnwood just like this from the hardware store, and you can buy them in this really lovely white color. I thought she could feed the cords from her printer and her label maker behind the shelves and then use cord covers to hide the cords. So you're not seeing like a day 
dangling mess of cords. It would be all covered and look nice and neat and tidy. And then on the floor, I've gone for more of a rectangular rug that really fills this entire space. It's wool, it's super warm and super cozy. If I was Farah, I would wanna like walk into this office and feel this carpet under my feet every day. I'd be like, yes, I am ready to work in this cozy office. And then my favorite piece of this entire makeover is this show-stopping pendant light. It's black and it's made from this beautiful natural material. It's quite large, so it's really going to fill this whole room. And then for both option A and for option B, I've included the idea of doing farmhouse doors on the outside of this room. I feel like both of these options make this room look so styled and like it's part of the house. Not like it's the office that you want the door closed all the time, but a comfy, warm, inviting room. It's time to jump on a call with Farah and see which one she's gonna pick. But before we do that, I wanna give a huge shout out to Shopify who makes this whole entire series possible. For those of you who haven't heard of Shopify, it is a commerce platform that helps you start, grow, and maintain a business. They are the reason I get to work with all of these amazing entrepreneurs and it's been so inspiring to see how people have turned their side hustles into these really successful, thriving businesses. As I'm sure a lot of you would assume, running a small business is no easy task. Shopify is here to help you with that. So I'm gonna pop a link down below to the free online marketing and development courses that Shopify offers. But there's one that stands out to me in particular. It is a course on how to turn your hobby into a successful business. One person whose space we just made over, Bianca, who has a business party at Nona's, literally turned her crafty hobby into a business, which is so cool. So click the link down below if you want to check out these courses from Shopify. There's so many cool articles and resources that I highly suggest you guys check out. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I like your headband. Thanks. How's it going? Good, I've been super busy. Um, my office is getting dirtier and like cluttered. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get some organization in my life. Okay, so you have an email. Let's open option A. Oh, wow, okay. I like the color palette. You do, yeah? Yeah, I'm really digging it. I like the, is that wallpaper? It is, yeah. Yeah, I really like the wallpaper. It's like speckled or, and I love the plant. Thank you for including a plant. And it's actually um, faux, but it looks like very real. Probably kill it if it's real. I'm concerned that like, because everything has to be um, organized in sizing, like, will I have enough in like, let's say one cabinet to do one size and then, you know, right. but I guess it would be the configuration of what's inside. But I love the, like the clean lines and I love the wallpaper. I love the tree, the lighting, everything. I like that it's, um, you know, put away and clean and like, it won't look like a cluttered, yeah. like even with the barn doors, like when it's open, it'll still look like pretty and nice. For sure. And, um, the kids can't get to stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's um, head into option two. I really like it. I like that there's um, added storage. I like the shelves. I, I think like I've always wanted to do kind of shelving. I like the bigger desk because I think my printer might be too um, heavy for the shelf so I could just put it on the desk. And I do like the rug. I like the lamp a lot too. I love it so much. And the fiddle leaf, like I absolutely love that tree. Okay, so the time has come for you to pick. Which option do you like the best? Oh my God. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with option A. Option A, okay, with the Pax wardrobe? Yes, you know, I really like certain aspects of option B, but I think I love the, the Pax wardrobe, the fact that I can like, customize it completely and I love that wallpaper in the back. I think it's kind of a nice focal point and um, I've always wanted to do something like that. So I think, I think option A, yeah, I really like it. Okay, well, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> we are gifting you $500 um, towards, <laughs> towards Shopify merchant products. That is huge. Thank you so much. I 
was not expecting anything, but honestly, that will help so much to get it started. And thank you so much for the opportunity. And there you guys have it. I'm really glad that Farah liked both options. I was actually really surprised that she chose option A because she seemed to be leaning more towards option B. But that was such a fun project to take on with her. I really love her style. And I can't wait to see what she does with this room. I know it's going to be beautiful. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those upcoming makeovers. Thanks for watching. Bye.